What is up guys, Dakota here and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, as you can probably tell from the title, we are going to be talking about some tips for beginners for off-roading. So here we are at the off-road. Um, and uh, you know, these tips are not going to be like the, you know, the end all be all tips. It's just, uh, you know, some that I th think can be helpful for some people. And um, there are gonna be, there's obviously way more tips than what I'm going to put in this video. I just don't want this video to be six years long. So let's go ahead and get started with the first thing. All right, and the first thing is gonna be, you know, before you go out and actually do any off-roading, do a little bit of research as to where you're going and what that place, you know, what, what you need to bring there as far as, you know, do you need to bring anything for your vehicle? Do you need to bring anything for yourself? Um, does it cost money to get into it? Do you have to have a permit? Things like that, you know, so do some research, look online, look at the different, uh, you know, if they have maps, look at the maps that they have for, um, you know, the trails that you plan on doing. Um, that way you have an idea. Well, we're actually kind of sliding down this hill here. Um, that way you have an idea of, of uh, what you're going to be encountering and you, you know, you're kind of familiar with what you're going to be doing in the first place. So again, just do your research and know what type of trails you're going to be hitting. Some places label their trails as, you know, like one to five on a difficulty scale. You know, ask some other people that have done those, you know, that way you can know, okay, what my vehicle is bone stock. Can it handle a, what they consider a hard trail? Um, that way you don't actually get yourself into a situation that you shouldn't be in. And then I guess another tip for, uh, you know, when you're a beginner at off-roading, you know, if you've never done it before, is when you do go off-road, you want to air down your tires. Um, now, obviously, for us who have been off-roading plenty of times, this is something that we kind of know about, but uh, there are uh, there are people who have never been off-road, and that is one of the things you should do is air down your tires. Now, I did make a completely separate video um, going over kind of why you should air down your tires and i'll put a link up there so you guys can check that out if you want uh, but basically you want to air down your tires for a couple of reasons one it's going to give your tire more contact patch with whatever you're driving over um, whether it's rocks mud grass sand whatever it is you're going to get much better contact patch with it plus you know if you're going to be out off-roading it's going to give you a little bit better ride um and once your tires are aired down, then they actually kind of form over the obstacle a little bit more. So um, if you don't have bead locks or things like that, then um, go down to about 15 PSI or so. I would say try to stay in the teens. Don't do anything too crazy. Um, don't go too low if you don't have bead locks because then you could risk slipping a bead and that is no fun. <clears throat> All right, and then one of the next tips that you should do is that I see happen a lot when it's like, you know, people who are going off-road for the very first time. Um, just remember to take your time. Remember, it's not a race. You're not racing anybody. Um, and especially if you're driving, you know, if you're doing any rock crawling, like, just take your time. Slow down. Make sure you're looking at everything. You know, just gentle inputs on the throttle. You don't want to do anything crazy. And the same with... You know, steering wheel movements, you don't want to sit here and jerk the wheel. Just kind of guide the steering wheel where you want it to go um, because you don't want to cause any damage to your steering components or you don't want to go too fast over some rocks and end up breaking something. So just take your time, gentle throttle inputs, gentle inputs in general. Um, I mean, when you put your vehicle in low range, that's kind of the whole point is that, you know, just moving your foot that much on the gas um, is going to get you up and over some some obstacles that you might not think. So take your time and you know don't try to rush through it because the whole point is to just kind of enjoy what you're doing and enjoy going over the obstacles, not see who can finish the trail the fastest. All right, guys, I had to put my glasses on because uh, it's a little rainy and nasty out, and your boy's blind. So. Um, the next tip that I want to talk about while we kind of talked about while we kind of touched on being on the trail is, you know, make sure you're placing your tires on, uh, on the obstacle. So that way you're not, you know, you're not trying to straddle something where you're going to catch your diff or, uh, you know, to where you're not going to break anything, you know, put your tires over the obstacles, let them go over the big stuff. 
That way you don't risk, you know, damaging, you know, your diff, your exhaust, whatever it is. Obviously you got skid plates, but just to be on the safe side, um, always try to place your tires over the rocks, over the big obstacles within reason. You don't want to obviously place your tire on something that's five times the size of your tire, you know, just go around that. <laughs> um, but that's, a, that's another thing is try to place your tires over the obstacles as opposed to straddling them. All right, guys. Now one of the next tips that, uh, that I can give you guys is when you are when you are um, off-roading is you know there's gonna be some obstacles where you're gonna be in the vehicle and you're gonna look at it and go mmm that's something that I, I don't know if I can do that or you know that looks that looks extremely hard you know there's no harm in just stopping getting out and just you know checking the obstacle out outside of the vehicle just to kind of look at things you know Am I going to get hung up here? Is my bumper going to clear it in order for my tires to actually get to it? You know, so there's no harm in stopping, getting out, and you know, having your your buddies and you just kind of look at the obstacle and figure out, hey, is this something that we should that we should actually try to attempt? All right, guys, and then one of the next things, which is going to sound kind of dumb or maybe self-explanatory, but I didn't do it for the longest time, um, and it makes a huge difference when you're coming out and you know you're going off-road right like naturally you outfit your jeep or your off-road vehicle whatever it is zr2 toyota tacoma whatever with tires that are specifically designed to go off-road right because it helps you don't want to run performance street tires when you're trying to go off-road same thing for you if you're going to come out here you're walking on rocks mud sand dirt whatever it is get some shoes that will actually get grip when you're on loose terrain and uneven terrain because you don't want to be outside slip and fall hurt yourself um you know or just while you're trying to get in and do do things around the vehicle you know you want to be able to get some grip um and just make yourself a little bit safer and maybe some shoes that are a little bit like water resistant or whatever um like i said i didn't do that for the longest time so i basically like ruined some of my shoes and i've fallen down a couple of times so get you a pair of shoes that can actually get some grip off road all right, guys, so that's basically it. Um, I hope these tips were helpful for you guys. Um, like, like I said, these aren't like, you know, the best tips in the entire world. And there's also, you know, I could make this video six hours longer with more tips. Just a few that I figured, you know, when I had first come out to the trail, I kind of wish I had done. But yeah, so I hope that was helpful for you guys. If it was, make sure to give it a like. And um, if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and subscribe and click that bell notification so you get notified for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.